I'm Bruce Bugbee, professor of crop physiology at Utah State University and president of Apogee Instruments. And today with Athena, I wanna talk a little bit about some really important concepts in nutrition that are just not well understood. Um, and we've done a lot of research in this lab on nutrition, even though I think we're probably best known for lighting, we do an equal amount of research on plant nutrition. So one of the questions that comes up, particularly among cannabis growers, is should I use organic sources of nutrients or synthetic sources of nutrients? Now, this question's been around for 70 years. In, after World War II, the Rodale Institute really started pushing organic sources of nutrients. Uh, this was way before cannabis was, was widely cultivated. And here's the thing that's good about organics, or the, the, talk about the differences. We should be recycling all of our waste back to agriculture, but we carefully compost them to m make the nutrients more bioavailable. Meanwhile, once they get composted, they start to become like synthetic nutrients. Um, you, we can have proteins that we put on plants and those decompose to make ammonium and nitrate, or we can just put on the ammonium and nitrate. So recycling is a very good thing, but if we're gonna take advantage of precision plant nutrition, we need to do that with synthetic fertilizers. So every element can be precisely adjusted to get maximum quality of the final product. And not just maximum quality, but min minimize runoff and leaching to the environment. As we get into this world of indoor agriculture, we need to be self-contained so we're not discharging to the environment. When we put on nutrients that came from manures, cow manure, uh, every kind of manure, um, that's a valuable source of nitrogen, but those organics also have very high levels of phosphorus in them. And if you fertilize with manures to get nitrogen, you have excess phosphorus. And that's a terrible environmental pollutant. It's, it's what causes algal blooms in lakes and rivers. Um, it's a big problem with organic fertilizers in the field. And with synthetics, we can precision fertilize. So we don't have excess phosphorus. So here, for research, we use synthetic fertilizers. Um, but we're also very careful not to over fertilize with them. It's precision, fertilize, precision fertilizers to minimize leaching to the environment and to optimize both yield and quality.